we've instituted this program to give our artists from our fall arts and crafts fair a chance to share their wares with you, their art, their crafts, the wonderful things that they make. We couldn't have our real arts and crafts fair in person this year. So we're bringing it to you virtually. Anyhow, um, unfortunately, we're not on Facebook Live, which I know a lot of people are looking for because I'm getting texts <laughs> about oh, it. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I will actually post this video back to our Facebook page. I am recording it on Zoom. So anyhow, um, tonight we have someone, um, a special person in my life is my niece, Kelsey Swanson. And my name is Kathy Hamblin. I do work at the museum. And um, we're really enjoying getting to see all the wares and the, the beautiful stuff that people are creating and working on. And I am going to turn this over to Karen and let her talk for a minute. Hello there, my name's Karen, like Kathy said, and I am Kathy's little sister. And um, I don't mean young when I say little, but <laughs> I am a little bit younger than her. <laughs> and um, anyway, uh, the museum craft fair has been uh, a good place in our lives for many years now. And so many people up north uh, go to it every single year. And even though I live in the Valley, I live in Peoria, I try and get up there as often as I can for it. I actually, I think was a vendor one time and then I helped another vendor one time set up her things. And it is just such a beautiful thing because the weather is usually nice. It's part indoor, part outdoor. They use the barn for the indoor part. You can have electricity to your stall if you need it. It's just amazing and all the different varieties of things is so diverse and all the arts and crafts that are presented by artists there. You can find just about anything. I have bought so many things there and they're all amazing. To this day, I don't regret any of my purchases there. So um, the artists are really grateful that we're able to do this virtually. We're hoping that it will generate some sales for them and some more interest in, in the museum and in these artists. So uh, keep following them on the website, the Sedona uh, Heritage Museum website and on the Facebook page. So, um, so that you, know, you can keep shopping and through December and uh, Kathy will make sure everybody's links and contact information are there so that you know how to contact them in order to arrange a purchase with them. And uh, did Kelsey come on yet? Give me just a second. And she should be now. There she is. She's coming on now. Sorry about this, folks. It's been a fun night with tech today, <laughs> which is really ironic because Kelsey, Kelsey works with tech. So, yeah, but like I said, it's usually me that does the jinxing of tech things. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, you know, if you guys, Karen, I don't know if you could share like a story or something. I am going to post the Zoom link on Facebook real quick. Um, I'm getting a lot of messages. People are trying to watch on Facebook and they can't find it. So yeah, Ron and Yvonne even wanted to watch and I went through this whole thing of getting them on Facebook. So go for it. Okay. So give me like, you know, two minutes. I know you guys can talk. So yes, we can. So, All right. Kelsey, can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Um, I can't see you yet, but that may be part of the problem here, but we can talk and hear each other. And um, I just wanted to say that Kelsey is my youngest daughter, my only daughter, but she's the youngest of my three children. And um, she recently finished her, her six year stint in the Army National Guard and her husband in the active duty Army as well. Um, they have uh, my only grandchild, Hannah, who is such a cutie pie and Anyway, Kelsey, Kelsey's art is something that has evolved over the years. I mean, she's always been creative at home growing up, but 
um, this uh, this painting is kind of new and uh, it's amazing me because I never knew that she had this much talent mm -hmm. in painting. And, it, and I also found out that the reason she does it is because, you know, going from, uh, from army life to civilian life can be very stressful even if you were never in a war zone or anything deployed or anything like that just because of the huge change uh it's very different so um and having you know the the baby on top of it and you know you're living across the country from your family and things like that so kelsey has actually um started painting to help her with her stress levels and so art is a form of therapy and most artists would agree with that. And I think I, I had a friend who was also a, a veteran Marine Corps and he used to do um, art as a form of therapy for his severe PTSD from Vietnam. So this is, that's a good analogy right there. Um, and Kelsey knew this friend of mine and, and so it's, uh, it kind of touches my heart that uh, this can help her out in so many ways, you know, not just in the fact that she can provide so much beautiful stuff to, to others to hang on their walls, to share with people as gifts or whatever, but it's also helping her, not just financially, but emotionally as well. What do you think, Kels? Want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Nope, hold on. Okay. Ain't not bad, you know, we got like six six or seven of these nights done without technical difficulties yet, so. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, it's just the first Hello? One. There she is. Can you hear me, though? Yes. Okay. yes. I see the green bar now. <laughs> I can't hear you now. Did you hear anything I said? Yes. Okay. I'm trying to get my audio to work. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Kathy, should we continue with our discussion or are you ready? Um, no, go ahead and talk for okay. a minute or two. Okay. So, Kelsey, I'm, I'm going to introduce you now to everybody. This is my daughter, Kelsey Wilson. And she's going to tell us a little about a little bit about why she has started painting and uh, what rewards it has brought to her. Hi, I'm Kelsey. Um, I just started painting for fun. Honestly, it was just something that I really like to do because I grew up doing a lot of crafts like duct tape stuff and whatnot. So I just started painting and then it's it's been really helping my like work home life because if I'm ever stressed I can just pick up a paintbrush and you know just go sit down listen to some music really loud and just paint away so it, it's been a lot of fun and a good journey and I've made a lot of progress over, like over the span of this year from when I started so it's been really good to see it grow um it's been few weeks since I've painted but I'm definitely going to jump back into that and I'm just trying to get rid of this lovely gallery of art behind me so hopefully we can find some new homes for it because it's needs to get off of my walls on onto somebody else's walls. <laughs> I have a quick question for you. Um, uh, oh Andrea Hamblin actually uh, how long have you been painting she would like to know. For 28 years, I'm just kidding. For about a year, I've been painting for a year. Um, I think it's been that long. It sounds um, about right. And the creative process, like you said, has been going on all your life, but the painting itself, I think it's been about a year. Yeah, my first painting, which actually went to Andy, I think she got it, is a waterfall painting, and it was my favorite painting and my first, like, actual acrylic painting, so it was a lot of fun to do. <laughs> All good. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, she says but it's on the shelf. I can see them, too. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's definitely been a lot of fun, and that, that was my favorite painting, for sure, and... 
I just, I'm going to get into a lot more fall and like Christmas stuff. So it'll be a, a really good adventure. I haven't, I have a question. Um, I should know this, but I don't actually, since you live like what, 3000 miles away from me. Um, did you take any classes in painting? I actually have a degree. No, I'm kidding. Um, I have not taken any classes on painting. I took one class in art in high school, but it was not good at that time at all. <laughs> not the mediums we were using, so. <laughs> But we um, just weren't stressed out enough at the time. <laughs> so YouTube has been my go-to place to start painting. You can learn anything on YouTube that you put your mind to. <laughs> so yeah, YouTube, I, I YouTube, YouTube is a great resource for picking up something new and learning how to do it. From Sedona Heritage Museum to everyone, Kelsey's Facebook page is at facebook.com. And I missed the rest. It went away too fast. Do you know it, Kels? <laughs> art from my heart. <laughs> is it art from the heart or from art from heart? the heart? But the link art. is I put the link in the chat so everybody can see it. It will Thank be there. You. So why don't you guys go ahead? I I texted people and tagged them, and so <laughs> hopefully they can join us on Zoom and and most people. A lot of people have it downloaded these days because of COVID. A lot of people have been doing things over Zoom. So hopefully a lot of people have it already. Um, so go ahead, Kelsey, and we will get started on showing some of your work and just uh, keep throwing little tidbits of history in there about, you know, any pieces, what inspired you for each piece and things like that. Okay. Uh, so I'll start with my smallest piece that I have right now, which is a, oops, sorry, there we go. It's just a little small canvas and it has three different colors of paint, but it also just has these white flowers that I put in here. And I just really like it because it's just so simple and it's something you can put like in your office or just anywhere, like in a hallway or something or next to some like family photos. I just like it because it's so petite and it can go anywhere and it's adorable. So I can make these in like any three colors you really want. If you wanna do like pinks, I actually did do a pink one, but I sold that one. And it just had like a different kind of flower on it. So just like depending on what color combination you want, this one is $10 with, all my paintings are for <laughs> Um my paintings are sealed, so I do put a protective coating over them. Some of them I still have to put a protective coating on, but I do put a protective coating on so it doesn't like wear and tear over the years and it'll stay nice and precise. I just um, love the I love the category of that, the color, the color scheme, you know, uh, you can do all the different color schemes. And the color scheme is so personal to people because everybody's got their favorite, you know? And uh, when you do it from one level to the other, that ombre effect is, is very popular lately. So that's really nice. Yeah, I feel like this is a very modern piece. <laughs> People would really like that. Thank you. That's super nice. Um, I'll just go from smallest to largest, I guess. <laughs> okay. My next one is this flower painting and it is like a textured feel. So um, these flowers, I just layered a bunch of paint on top of these and it is, oh, this, this is kind of bright. Let me see if I can adjust this. Um, I don't know which one's better. There, this one's better. There, that one. Yeah. So that one. There is a vase and then, thank you. And then um, just like a, blue background but I don't know if you can tell but some of these are textured as you can see um so it's like bumpy I love textured art I feel like it's very I don't know it's it's just nice to see it because it, it just looks more pleasing and like the leaves are like coming off the sides and everything and some of my art um I'll do like a black border around right here and some of the art I continue on the sides it just depends on the painting it depends on the piece and how I go about um, painting each one. But I really like this. This would be like a really cute Mother's Day gift or something. And mm -hmm. if you go on my page, I also posted this beautiful butterfly piece that I've done. 
where half of it is a butterfly and half of it is flowers, like it's wings. So half of it is the wing and half of it is the flowers. And that one sold a lot. So if you need something for your mom or your sister, mm -hmm. um, I think that'd be good or something like this. Yeah, and about the texture, um, I think it gives it sort of a 3D look too. So it has depth to it, I like that, another dimension. So this is my favorite one. It's gonna be a little hard to see, but at least like the colors in it. So I really love peaches. I don't know what it is about painting a peach. It is so fun to paint a peach. So these are the peaches and they go from like dark to light in most of them, like right here, like the shading. And then I have the branches and the leaves and just the dark green background. I just love this one so much. This is by far my favorite painting I've done. Um, I don't know why, it's just so nice. I, did somebody say something? Um, but yeah. Aunt Mary says hi. Hi. And then I love all it because the two different colors has each shade, uh, shades of like three or four shades of that color in it. I have to agree, Andy. I love the different like kinds of canvases I have. I have large canvas and small canvas and long canvas. So it's just, it's nice to have different things, especially if you want a wall of my art in your house. You know, <laughs> you could have different sizes everywhere. So it's just, it's good to have different sizes for everything and every piece is different. So it's like, not everything is meant to be on a large canvas like this. It's so, it's like unique and it's small, so it's gonna be better on something like this than a large piece. Yeah, just <laughs> said she's on it, under the Kelsey wall. Uh, <laughs> that sounds great. Of course, uh, as your brother, I'd be all over that as well. <laughs> so this is another one I was just blasting my music to. Um, I did get this idea, I got some of it from Pinterest, just a different kind of scheme to it, I guess. But um, this is like a space, but also sky, inter I don't know, intertwined. So up here you have like some spaceships and some stars and some, you know, the the Little Dipper, I think. <laughs> it looks and like then, a Little Dipper, yeah. And then you have like an ombre sky with the moon and some stars and some cute little clouds to go with it. Um, something like this, it does go on to the sides, which is really cute. And you just get that ombre effect throughout the whole thing. <laughs> but I just think it's so nerdy and cute. I, I don't know Jill, why nerdy. Jill, but, has, Jill has stayed claim to that one. And she also said Kelsey Wall is goals. <laughs> and now oh, Andrew was talking. She's saying yeah. add some Among Us something in there. Did you see I, that? want to do what would be really cute Andy is an among us on this with all the different colors and their little hats that's so cute I think I'm gonna try I need to go pick up canvas now but I'm gonna do some among us pieces for sure because that, that'll please the younger audience and and for those old fogies in here tell us what among us is <laughs> Oh yeah, Among Us is just a video game that people like to play. I don't want to get too into that. <laughs> I yeah, just a little idea that it's a game. And then um, I have this piece too. It has two different um, types of mountains and then just a sun. It's just something really simple, but something really easy. And I really love the colors together. It's kind of hard to see this nice coral mountain in the background, but it's just something that I like. I might add like something right here, something white maybe. I don't know white yet, but I think something white right here would be nice. But um, yes, very modern, like the blue one. Um, I love this one. This one will be painted black on the edges, so it kind of matches the galaxy theme a little more. But this is just a dream catcher. I had this galaxy background done already and I was contemplating what exactly I wanted to do with it. And then I, I just love the dream catcher look and I love um, using the paint pens I have. So it was just so much fun. And 
I put some stars on it. It's kind of hard to see the stars, but they're kind of all over the place. Oh, yeah, I do see them. But I just thought this was a really fun and cute piece. Um, that, that one really struck me when I saw it because that was on the Sedona Museum page, the website. And um, I just, I looked at it and I'm like, is that a Kelsey painting for real? I mean, it looked amazing. And there was just a question. Did you see that? No. Uh, someone could re, re put that question up there. I think it was Andrea. Something about paint pens. Uh, what I have to know what paint pens you're using and do you like them? I do love them. I think they're the Pos Posca pens, P-O-S-C-A pens, if I'm not mistaken. I absolutely love them so much. You can get them like really thick or thin and it just makes for really good outlines, especially for Among Us characters. And you can you can paint everything with them. I use them to fill in anything like I don't think anything in here uses them minus that, but I definitely use them for the, the like the fine little flowers and stuff like that. They're really good for like really thick outlines or thin outlines. Uh, you can really use it for whatever, but I, I love using them. I mainly only have black, white, and pink in the different sizes, but I use them all the time and 100% a great medium. And you can like just make characters and paint with just the pens and it'll work just as just as good uh so the the pieces kind of vary um just depending on what it is and what size it is I also have flat canvas so I don't have an example but so this is like a hangable canvas while the flat one uh, it doesn't have like something that you can hang I guess you could hang it with. Um, it's just completely flat, but it's it's still good. You can put it in a picture frame and frame it too. You can um, you can put it <laughs> anywhere, honestly. But um, some people do prefer just a flat canvas, and they have different ways, like double sided tape or something, just different ways to hang those everywhere too. So it's it's a, definitely a good like. I don't know, difference if you want something that you can hang up or if you just want something you can just like lean against something or put on your desk. Um, I have both of those. The flat ones are, um, I mean, everything is pretty much the stretch canvas. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and um, it can actually be used just, I mean, it's kind of weird to think of it like that, but like kind of wallpaper ideas. You know, you can use it as like a wallpaper section, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's still a canvas though. It's just not, it's not like, um, it's not just this. It has right. like a board on the back of it. So oh. it's, yeah, it's not just the canvas. So not, right. not like the um, material, but um, it's a flat piece. And, um, but it's just really good. Um, yeah. But let me go on this one. This one is something I really love and it's it's still a work in progress with what I want to add next, but it's a paint pour and I love the color so much. So oh it's a really gosh. pretty like aqua turquoise with some white and some darker blues. And it's hard to see, but there's some gold right here. And I'm gonna be adding that throughout the piece and then I'll finish it off with the coating, of course. Um, this is one of the bigger pieces that I offer. I can go larger, but it's kind of hard to um, ship those ones. So I might mainly stick with these ones or below. But um, I really love the colors in this. Blues are my absolute favorite. I love blue and I just had to do something like this. And you can see like the different types of like the like the cells that are forming and stuff. And it just like reminds me of an ocean. And it's just, I think it's so pretty. And I love the little gold specks. And I'm gonna be adding a lot more gold throughout it just to give it that kind of like uniqueness to it. And this is another favorite of mine for sure. Mary Carol is saying something about paint pouring. Is that similar to paint pouring? Because she loves paint oh, pouring. Yes. Oh yeah, okay. that's, that's what I did. So I just, got a bunch of different kinds of paints and there was like a mixture of paint or some like a medium that I could 
pour into the paint and then I poured it on here and I used a hair dryer and I just kind of went all over the place and then you can get a torch so you can get out all the air bubbles uh, and then um, that mixture that you pour into the paint helps all these like little cells and stuff form. I've seen some of Aunt Mary's and she does amazing. Like I love all of her art too. But this was my first piece that I did with that. And I just love how it turned out for sure. Now is the gold that's on there, is that gonna be like a glistening gold or is that more of just the color gold? Uh, it's more of just a color gold. Um, it is kind of shiny. But um, it, it'll it'll definitely give it that pop that it needs. But um, I like the white on the side. I just like how it's like going diagonal and not like all over it. It's like it has some like I don't know <laughs> kind of like pattern to it. Um, yeah. And also the gold is going to make it almost uh, have like some people might be able to see rock formation in it with the gold you know how a geode is and everything oh yeah it's got, it's got gl glistening areas in it and um golds and silvers and stuff so i think that would make it look kind of like a pretty rock as well but, uh those are my paintings that i have on display for tonight those are definitely up for sale and just depending on which one you want um you can go onto my Facebook page, you can comment on the photo, and I can message you, and um, PayPal is a good medium, so that way it's always secure, and you know, you're going to be getting your painting for sure and everything, but um, PayPal will be the way to go, and just depending on what painting it is, uh, shipping is $4, for the bigger ones it's $5, but um, yeah, the prices will just depend on what painting it is. And if you want a custom piece, you can always just message me and we can work something out. If it's something I've like done before, or if it's something new, I'm more than willing to try something new too. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask and that's all I thought. Well, I think uh, your paintings are absolutely beautiful. And I know there have been some others that you've done that you've already sold to people that as soon as they saw it on Facebook, it's like, that's mine. I, I, you know, I think that one would look really nice in like either a small mobile home, like a tiny home or in a bathroom. It looked nice in a bathroom or like you said, in a hallway or you know how you have hangings of all of your kids on, on the wall of all their portraits and stuff? Something like that and like to offset all of those portraits would be really nice to kind of tie them together, you know? Yeah, that one is really neat. And the texture in that, that is beautiful. I like the texture too. You know, that comes from having a child and all the little books that they have where they can feel textures. <laughs> It kind of brings it all back, doesn't it? <laughs> I was laughing at what um, they said to art more today. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So you're and Mary right. told Aunt Kathy to light up her face. <laughs> you're inspiring people to do it as well. So that's a good thing also. So. Recycling is good too. Like some of the scratch canvas I've used, I've, cr I've recreated like this one. That's why I need to add the black to this because it used to be a pink one. And I completely redid it instead of wasting it or throwing it out and just going over it. But you can honestly use like anything as your canvas, you know. If you find like a soda box, you can paint it and make it something useful, you know. It's not just about having canvas or um like really expensive supplies. I You don't have to have expensive supplies. You can just be creative and find new ways to make art. Yeah, get, finding mediums that, that maybe nobody, you haven't seen art on before and putting art on it, I think is an awesome idea too. You know, old pieces of wood and things like that, um, some ideas. I think the you know the sky's the limit when it comes to this, but it's obviously helping with stress, and that's a great thing too. So, and especially if you can sell some and and take some of the financial stress away as well, because uh, we're all facing that these days with COVID. 
So um, I don't see any more questions and um, we're pretty much over time now. They took an extra time to get started though. So we're good on time. So did you have anything you wanted to add? Okay, now, oh, I do want to talk about your Facebook page, though, because you just created a Facebook page so that other people know. Kelsey did not have a website up until this point, and we suggested that she make a Facebook page so that people can go there and just see pictures of her art. And, you know, so you don't have to sort through all of her personal Facebook stuff to find them. So um, she just created one, and it is called, well, Kathy's going to have it in the link she's gonna have a link for it in, in the, on the Sedona Heritage Museum page and on the uh, website itself, the Facebook page and on the Sedona uh, Museum website. So you'll be able to find that page and how to contact her and paying with PayPal and things like that. So, all right. Is your preferred method of communication like through uh, messenger, like text messages, uh, through phone number or Facebook or either? Uh, so probably Facebook, uh, we can communicate on there and then I can just message you. And then um, from there, we can do PayPal or Facebook pay, cash app, whatever you feel safest with or whatever your preferred method of payment is. Um, those are the three that I mainly have, um, and anything, any of those work for me for sure, and then we can, I can get your address and stuff, so I can ship it to you correctly and everything, and I will send you tracking as soon as I get back from the post office. That's always guaranteed as well. And then um, uh, you don't, uh, for people that don't have Facebook, they can use your phone number to text you as well, correct? So I have my email address in there as well. So they can email me on my Gmail and I'll respond rather quickly um, unless I'm at work because I can't access Gmail in a secure area. But after work, I can definitely get to that. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I got. But Aunt Kathy, I don't know. If you got anything? All right. Well, I was trying to share the screen there of the art That's from the heart. Yeah, uh, I the name it. of the Facebook page. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I had my messenger up right in front of it. So I was <laughs> reading my messages. Yeah, um, I was able to see it, and it looked really nice. Yes, it does look very nice. Um, well, Kels, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. And Kelsey is out on the East Coast, so um, it's pretty late for her. Um, even for a Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks so much. We've enjoyed your art and just some beautiful creations you've got going there. And um, we're going to say good night to everyone. And we will see you again the day after tomorrow. And hopefully, Facebook will cooperate that day. Yeah, so everybody go back and start checking out all the prior videos if you didn't get to see them. And it was very nice. Thank you. Thank you I'm sorry I stepped on you, Kels. What'd you say? Oh, I said I gotta go order some ornaments. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.